another week of my life as a NICU nurse. So here's the thesis. I haven't been to work since last Thursday. And the reason was because just last week were like every other day kind of. So I had a shift on like Monday, then I had a shift on Thursday, and then I would have a shift on Saturday. I got my second COVID vaccine shot on Friday. It took me out for the count on Saturday. Like, I feel like I got hit by a bus and I did not feel safe going to work and I didn't feel great at all. And I was not gonna make it through that 12 hours. So now, I'm finally back to work because my schedule this week was three days in a row. So we're here, I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I haven't worked three days in a row yet as a nurse. So that's why I wanted to film this video. Let's see if I'm still there and kick it on Friday. So right now I'm currently on my way to work. It's currently 6.10. I have a nice little drive ahead of me, but I'm feeling good, feeling rejuvenated. I haven't been to work in five days, so I better be ready to go to work. And that's pretty much it. I'm listening to my three gospel songs. I'm eating my breakfast currently. You know, those little Eggo cinnamon toast things. That's what I'm eating. And now I'm on my way to work. I'll see you guys when I get to work. And let's have a great day productive and life-saving day. Let's go. All right, so we have finally made it to work. We are here. I'm actually pretty early today, so I must have like really been moving this morning because it's 6.48. I don't have to clock in to like 6.57-ish, things like that. Um, I'm about to complete the kind of symptom checker at my job is you have to complete this thing on this app called safe check and you have to let them know if you have any symptoms so when you walk on into the hospital it's easier and they don't have to ask all these people who are coming into their 7 a.m shifts a bajillion times on if they have those symptoms so that's nice they'll hand me a mask and then i'll show them my little green check because i'm gonna have one and that's about it i'm excited for my 12 hour shift Let's get it 12 and a half because really lunch don't count. It really doesn't because do you get your whole lunch? Okay, but so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm very excited and I either see you guys at lunch if there's not too many people or I'll see you guys when I get done with my shift. So wish me luck and let's have a great day. It's already dark 12 hour shift completed i was on admissions today i really only admitted one baby and that was actually so really i just have to do those vital signs every 30 minutes for two hours or every, anything like that but and that it was fun it was a good day i'm sad because my outfit was so cute my green outfit with my let me see if i can show you guys with my with my green socks and it just doesn't hit the same with this blue. Like I look crazy. So I'm definitely, hopefully I know, or kind of have an idea on when I'm gonna be on admissions again so I don't wear like my really, really, really cute scrubs. Cause now it was a waste. But all in all, I had a really good day. I'm about to head home now. And then I'll give you guys an update again when I get home. And then we're gonna do it all again tomorrow. So day one of three, done. Day one of three, done. <laughs> so really happy feel good I really feel way more confident in my skills than I did obviously previously and I realized that 
I thought I was on night shift in three weeks. I'm on night shift. I have this week, the next week, and then I'm on night shift. <laughs> like, wow. 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 But I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Let me drive safe. See ya. Good morning. Today is Thursday. So yesterday when I got home, I hurried up and I ate my leftover Betty Hanna's and I went straight to sleep, like probably 9.30. So um, I didn't close out yesterday, but today I'm super pumped, excited. I feel like I got enough rest. I got about seven hours of sleep, which is good for me at least. Like that's great. Like I'm ready to go. All I need is like six and we can move. So I'm currently on my way to work which is obvious. And today I have four hours of online education. If you guys watched my last vlog, you know that on Thursdays I have online educations where they go through all of these modules or all of these areas of NICU nursing that you need to know. So I don't know what this week's is. They just pick certain topics and we sit there and each session is two hours and we learn about those. And sometimes I do them at work and sometimes I do them at home. But today is obviously a work day because I have eight hours of work right after that. But it counts as a 12 hour shift today. Um, I'll show you guys what happens when I do that. Really, we just get on a Zoom or Teams call and just sit there and listen. And we have notes that are attached to that. Um, I'm with a different preceptor today. Usually I'm with this other preceptor that I'm with, and I'm with her quite often. I think I've only been with this other preceptor probably like three other times, but the other preceptor that I'm with today, she's the one who's been there for such a long time. So it's really good to learn some knowledge from her, and I think it's my last day with her today, even though I've only been with her like four times, because pretty soon I'm going on night shift. Oh, I just gotta keep saying it so I feel good about it. Like, I'm excited to like be on my own and learn my skills and become a nurse all by my lonesome. I'm really, really pumped for that. I'm just scared with like sleep in my life. Like I'm a morning person. I wake up chipper in a great mood. Like let's go, let's find some stuff to do. And I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. That's not why you guys are here. I'm not here yet with the night shift. So that's what I'm doing. I don't think I'm on admissions today. My preceptor, the reason why I was on admissions yesterday was because um, she requested it. So we're able to get more um, knowledge and get more critical skills because I'm gonna have to admit babies when I'm on my own. So it's good to know how to do it then and maybe I'll do it tomorrow or have a super critical baby that I saw that's in an oscillator. So I'll either have that or I'll have admissions. But today I'm with, I'm with, <laughs> Said her name, but today I'm with my other preceptor, and we'll see how it goes. I'll give you an update kind of on my assignment wise when I get to work or after work. So, see you guys then. So, I made it to work. Um, very pumped. You gotta get pumped when you're on your way to work, you know what I mean? So, if you don't make it fun, then it's not gonna be fun, and it's gonna be boring for like the rest of your life. So, we're gonna make this fun. Um, today, let me show you my outfit. I have these fig scrubs. If you watch my fig review, I am in love with this color. And then I just have like this bluish grayish Columbia jacket. I have plenty of gray Columbia jackets. That's just what I like when it comes to working. Um, I want to film, I know this is not like on this topic, but I want to film a what's in my nursing bag. But before I do, let me just tell you about this water bottle. This Awala, Awala water bottle, like they did something with it look you lift this up i don't know if everybody knows about these but i was just put on and you push this button and you can just like just drink like that like there's a straw inside and then you have a big like opening here if you want that you can like take a huge chug but look i don't even have to like move my neck look isn't that crazy so I'm putting y'all on because I got the buy one get one free because they had like a birthday bash or something but these are huge look at how big it is compared to my head and I have a pretty big head so something crazy but I'm ready I'm about to do my little safe check check in so I can keep everyone safe because I don't have any symptoms but they just want to make sure and that's about it so I will see you guys right when I show you about what I'm doing during the day like the little four hour education thing see you then all right so I'm currently on lunch I usually never like film at lunch or anything like that 
However, today there were too many people in the lunchroom because we've all been like running ragged. So we're all eating at like three o'clock. <laughs> so what happened with that is there were too many people in the lunchroom and due to COVID, they don't let that many people in. It's fine. So I'm eating down here at lunch and I decided to update you guys as well as um, talk to people I want to talk to while I'm on my lunch break. Because when I'm upstairs, I really don't talk to like any of my loved ones and I have a 12 hour shift. So I usually just talk to everybody on the floor, but I kind of like a little separation from work and things like that. So i would definitely be doing this more often, eating down here in the lunchroom. But a little update, um, I ended up only taking care of one baby today. I'm not on admissions and I wasn't with the instructor that I thought that I was going to be with. But something that's crazy is I'm taking care of, but there's a whole lot. Like they have so many lines, they have a UBC, a UAC, they have so many things running fentanyl dopamine they have tpn they have a heparin drip they are right now getting platelets and all of this type of stuff so i'm definitely getting all of my critical skills as well as all of my charting like my hourly charting and things like that i also wanted to update you guys when i get off of work about like the skills and stuff that i did yesterday because otherwise you guys just see me driving to work saying work was great and then leaving so i want to give you guys a little bit more update without getting like too much into like patient specifics so i'll definitely do that when i get off to let you know everything that i did like skill wise and i have about five more minutes and i have to get back to work so let me hurry up and eat this yogurt so i can power through but i'll see you guys at 7 30. well it is freezing out here it was not like this this morning but I just ran into a friend who also went to my cat with me for um, school and we got to chit chat. She's like on a unit that's really close to mine. She's on the L&D unit. So, so good to see her. We're right next to each other. Wow, that doesn't make it better. We were right next to each other. However, um, I don't see her at all like any other time. And we're all about to get our night shifts. We're all like, ah, what am I about to do? So all in all today was good. I took care of a really, 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 really small baby. Like... Like, they were so small. I honestly used so many critical skills today. I drew some labs on an eye stat. I pulled from a UAC. I checked a UVC. I did so many meds. I did fentanyl. I did dopamine. I decreased the dopamine. I had to decrease the lipids. I had to add new bags. I had to do so many things and I actually used my skills, which was like, what girl? I need to do this all the time. And someone was telling me when I get off of orientation, get all those critical babies go on admissions because that's how you're going to learn i think that's what i'm gonna do otherwise they're gonna like give me feeder growers which is great i'm definitely gonna want that for like the first couple of days but i need to get as much experience as i can because i want to feel like i'm doing something for real. dealing with these critical babies like i feel like i'm doing so much talking to the parents and just trying to put their mind at ease and letting them know that like their babies are in the best care that they can get because i'm here like i'm learning i'm here and i'm here for you and things like that so now i'm about to head home i've got out a little bit late i'll see you guys when i get home and this time i really will like close out today <laughs> and get ready for tomorrow because we're gonna do it all again and i feel good surprisingly i feel good with like three days in a row so maybe i'll actually do this for my life for real and have a four-day weekend if not longer depending on how i schedule myself so See you when I get home. Okay, sorry, I took down my hair and everything, but I am home and everything went great on my way home. Um, today was great. I did so many different things. It was so sad that I was taking care of such a small baby, but I got to do so many different things. It was like legit crazy. So I think that I'm going to have it again tomorrow because my preceptor requested that baby so we can get all these on hand skills. And then um, today I had my preceptor that I thought I was supposed to have and I didn't I had someone different but I oh, I see her quite often and then she left at three o'clock and I got someone else who is new but usually she's charged nurse and she's been there for like three years so she was super knowledgeable too so tomorrow I'll be back with my regular preceptor and I'll probably have that baby again so I'll keep you guys updated and I'll see you guys tomorrow on day three third day in a row working in the NICU as a new grad nurse See you soon. Good morning. Today is Friday and I'm really shocked that I'm feeling good. Like, I don't feel tired. Well, 
I haven't even started my shift yet. But I don't feel tired. I feel motivated. I feel ready to go. Maybe I will really schedule myself like this. I don't know how it's going to be on nights for me. That may be a little tough. But right now, I feel good. I woke up, jumped out of bed, got my scrubs on, took, um, did everything I needed to do, and now we're here. So I'm currently on my way to work. Obviously, I've been doing it two days now. I've already done it, drove all the way there and back. My nice little car ride there, because I live kind of far away from the hospital, but that's fine. I like what I do, so it's totally worth it. But I'm currently just about to get on the highway, so I will see you guys then. I think that I have the same baby that I had yesterday, and if so, I get to do all my critical skills and learning all things like that, and that'll do it. So I'll see you guys when I get to work. Bye. We have arrived. So now I'm here at work. I'm about to do the safe check like I've been doing. Today I have on some teal scrubs. Cute. Cute. And um, I'm ready for the day. Like I'm super pumped and we're going to see how it goes. And I'm ready to learn because this is my one of my last weeks on days. So if I ever get to days, hopefully, that I'll get there eventually. Then I want to make sure I know how to do everything that I'm doing on days because days and nights are a little bit different. But I will see you guys either at lunch or when I get off of work. So we have made it like third day. I was gonna say night. Third day in a row. I just finished a 12 hour shift. I'm pumped. I'm on my way home getting ready to I'm ordering Chinese food because I deserve it <laughs> and I'll give you guys an update on how everything went when I get home because I'm trying to get in my bed I'm surprised that I made it I feel good still but I know that any hour now I'm gonna crash so see you guys when I get home oh his butt oh Alador here he is He's crazy, but I have arrived home. I just picked up my Chinese food. I'm pumped, ready to go. Um, today, I took care of the same baby that I took care of yesterday, so I got to do a lot of line changes. I got to do a lot of medication administration. I gave blood today. I had to keep being in charge of FIO2, and I got to talk to parents and try to give them education and everything like that. So I did a whole bunch of it today. I only took care of one baby, but due to the baby being so critical, is the reason why I only took care of one. So all in all, it was great. The three-day run was interesting and I'm glad I did it and I may do this again in the future. So here's to one more week of being on day shift and then going to night shift, which is gonna be a totally different ball game. And you do, boy, and you do so many different things. So thank you guys so much for watching this video i want to thank you guys again for supporting my channel make sure you like the video comment down below anything that you want and i'll see you guys in my next video bye beautiful